Chapter 1. Modern Manipur, A. Historical Background. The hills and valley of Manipur were two distinct socio-political and geographical entities. Tribal Settlements in this part of the country predate the colonial administration and a unique justice system and land ownership under tribal chieftainship existed since the ancient period till date. The British Engagement with the Zhou country, which includes the erstwhile Chin Hills, now Chin State, Lushai Hills, now Mizoram, Northern Arakan Hills, now Northern Rakhine, Chittagong Hill Tracks, Northern Chin Hills, now South Manipur Hills, was initially minimal. They adopted a policy of non-interference as the hill areas were considered inaccessible and the inhabitants irrelevant to their colonial interest. However, by the end of the 19th century, the British policy especially towards the Indo-Burma frontiers shifted from non-interference to occupation. The annexation of Burma in 1885 was a major factor of this shift. This resulted in the annexation of Zhou country. The policy toward the Zhou country took various forms which included cordial understanding with the hill chiefs but also military expeditions when relations deteriorated. The growing contention over land boundaries as a result of the encroachment by T. Planters working for the British Empire eventually led to a series of large-scale punitive expeditions. Besides, many minor expeditions, three major and influential expeditions, namely the Lushai Hills Expedition of 1871 to 1872 and 1888 to 1889, and the Chin Lushai. Hill's expedition of 1889 to 1890 were carried out. These expeditions formally trifurcated the contiguous zoo country into different administrative spheres. Re amalgamation of the zoo country was discussed in the Chin Lushai Conference or the Calcutta Conference of 1982 but was not carried out fully for administrative reasons. It was only after the Anglo-Kuki War, Zogal, of 1917-1919 that the colonial administration of the hills areas of Manipur, inhabited by the Zomikuki communities, became more prominent. The relations between the hill areas and the valley continued to be characterized by raids and counter-raids, as was prevalent before the coming of the British Empire. Not only was the Maharaja of Manipur not able to exert or establish his rule in the hills at any point in history, but he was also unable to protect his valley subjects from tribal raids from the hill people. Thus, the forced merger of the hills and valleys of Manipur was the result of the colonial government's policy and concern for administrative convenience and security evident in Pemberton's imaginary map, making which superficially merged the hills and valley into a single administrative unit the putting together of these two disparate entities prepared the ground for intermittent conflict between the hills and valley ever since two historically different administrative entities the stark differences between the hills and valley of Manipur despite their administrative merger necessitated a differential administrative approach.
towards the hills. Thus, the affairs of the hills were never kept under the direct purview of the Mete. Maharaja and his Darbar, the British maintained the pre-existing separate administration in different degrees throughout their rule. The British officers in different capacities acting as the vice president and the president of the state Darbar and the political agent were responsible for the management of Hill areas and Hill affairs. In an acute sense, they were the ones who were responsible for integrating these two irreconcilable entities in Manipur, and they did that through a form of separate administration for both. British period. The British encounter with the hill tribes began after they intervened in Manipur to oust the Burmese at the behest of the Maharaja in exile. Following a series of treaties, the British stationed a political agent in Manipur in the year 1835 to aid and advise the Maharaja. This was also the start of engagement between the hill tribes and the British. Before the entry of the British, the administration of tribal land and villages was under the tribal chiefs and overlords, who held total control and allegiance at their behest. Following the annexation of Manipur in 1891, matters of the hill tribes were placed outside the jurisdiction of the Manipur State Darbar, part of the hills where they could exert their Influence were administered by the vice president of the Darbar and later the president, who were British. Officials subjected to the control of the political agent of Manipur. The British administration functioned through an intermediary known as the Lambu. This indirect system of administration was in place till the Zogal slash Anglo Kuki War, 1917 to 1919. After 1919, a new arrangement was conceived by the Chief Commissioner of Assam. The hill areas were now brought under the direct administration of the British, not the Maharaja, and divided into four subdivisions under the administrative responsibility of a British officer each so as to prevent further uprisings of the scale they faced between 1917 to 1919. Post-Indian independence, noting the continued necessity of separate administration post-independence, the Manipur Constitution Drafting Committee came up with a two-part constitutional scheme, the Manipur State Constitution Act, 1947 and the Manipur State Hill People's Administration Regulation, 1947. The latter pertains to the hills. However, this arrangement could not continue for long as Manipur merged with the Indian Union in the year 1949. Manipur became a part sea state and the Manipur State Hill People's Administration Regulation 1947 was eventually replaced with the Manipur Village Authority in Hills Act 1956. When Manipur became a full-fledged union, Territory with the passing of the Union Territories Act of 1963, a territorial assembly was provided for the state. The act also provided for the formation of a committee called the Hill Standing Committee with jurisdiction over matters concerning the hills. The attainment of statehood by Manipur in 
January 1971 led to corresponding changes in the administration of the hills to deal with special problems that could arise due to administrative changes the Union government inserted Article 371C into the Indian Constitution through the 27th Amendment Act of 1971. The President of India then promulgated the Manipur Legislative Assembly Hill Areas Committee Order 1972 following which the Hill Areas Committee HAC was formed. The committee draws membership from all tribal legislatures and aims to safeguard the interest of the hills in the Manipur legislature. Further, the Manipur Hill Areas District Council Act 1971 was enacted by the Union Parliament. Thus, the six district councils were instituted to provide a form of self-government in the hill districts. However, the HAC has only recommending power over matters concerning the hills and the Manipur Hill Areas District Council is not an autonomous council rendering both the toothless institutions toothless to safeguard the tribals and satisfy their aspirations.